Virtual pinball cabinets don't provide the same experience as playing a real pinball table for two main reasons. First, the action is happening on the play field, yet the table sounds are usually routed to the back box speakers, which is unnatural. Second, the feel of the flippers actuating and the ball careening off slingshots and bumpers is lost on virtual pinball. One way to get a more realistic virtual pinball experience is to install surround sound feedback or SSF. SSF uses exciters and bass shakers to put the table sounds where they belong and provides tactile feedback to accompany the visual events occurring on the table. In this video, I am going to install surround sound feedback in my Creative Arcade's virtual pinball machine. Normal speakers produce sound by moving a cone which creates waves in open air. Because a pinball cabinet is a closed environment, it doesn't make sense to use normal speakers for sound inside the cabinet. Exciters produce sound by vibrating or exciting the surface they are mounted to, which in turn produces sound. This also provides a small amount of tactile feedback you can feel through the table. I purchased four Dayton Audio HDN8 exciters from Parts Express for $24 each. Due to supply chain issues, these were on back order for almost two months. Bass shakers work like exciters, but for low frequencies. Many people don't use them for SSF, but in my opinion, it's better to go with exaggerated sound to compensate for the lack of physical feedback. I purchased three Dayton Audio BST-1 bass shakers from Parts Express for $38 each. I plan on using two of these for the SSF system and one as a subwoofer for my back box. To drive the speakers, I purchased three Lapai 2.1 channel amplifiers from Parts Express for $50 each. One of these will replace the amplifier that came with my pinball machine. My motherboard does not support surround sound, so I purchased a StarTech 7.1 USB sound card from Amazon for $38. I installed the first amplifier to drive the back box speakers, replacing the amplifier that came with my machine. I installed one of the bass shakers to use as a subwoofer. This was an immediate improvement in sound quality. I then installed the other two Lapai amplifiers for the surround sound speakers. I decided to stack them vertically inside the coin box so I could tweak settings without too much fuss. I used heavy duty Velcro strips to hold them all together. I installed a bass shaker for the front speakers underneath the amplifiers. The bass shakers bolt directly against the cabinet floor, transmitting low frequency sound through the cabinet so you can really feel it. I installed the bass shaker for the rear speakers next to the central fan. Unfortunately, this was right where the internal computer sits, so I had to temporarily remove it. Because of the rear bass shaker, I needed a way to raise the computer by about 3 inches before reinstalling it. I repurposed some old table legs and cut them down to size. A little bit of sanding and they were ready to go. The cabinet is made from MDF and I don't trust it to hold a screw. I found these threaded inserts that screw into the table legs. This allowed me to bolt the legs through the table and hold them very securely. The legs are mounted and the computer is reinstalled into the cabinet. You can see that it sits comfortably above the central base shaker and does not interfere with the playfield display. My exciters finally arrived. I had no choice but to mount these directly into the MDF, so I was very careful to drill a slightly undersized pilot hole and fill it with wood glue before screwing them in. There is no way these are coming back out without damaging the walls. With all of the hardware installed, I installed some specialized software to enhance the feedback for pinball and I was ready to go. I am not exaggerating when I say that surround sound feedback is a real game changer. I can hear the ball as it rolls down the table and feel the rebounds. I can't capture how this sounds or feels on video, so I used my phone to record accelerometer data during gameplay. You can see the relative calm just before the ball is launched, and then there are many peaks as the ball bounces off of targets. Of all the upgrades I've made to this point, this has had the biggest impact on my enjoyment of my virtual pinball machine. In my next video, I'm going to install a new motherboard and 11th generation Intel CPU. This will allow me to finally experience virtual reality pinball.